Libra. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I'm going to do your weekly general reading for the week of March 12th to the 18th, 2018. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you are not subscribed to my channel, Libra, please do subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. So I felt very drawn to use the Gilded, one of my most favorite, and I haven't used it in a while. Felt very drawn to it this week. So this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Spirit, March 12th to the 18th, 2018. All my Libra subscribers. And as always, just keep in mind if the reading doesn't resonate with you, look at your moon, your rising signs. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. Links to absolutely everything that you guys need are linked below in the description box right under the video. Love to have you guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram. Fun stuff over there. It's only going to get better, guys. All right, let's go. Your central issue is the Ten of Swords. I'm going to clarify. Don't worry. Your foundation is the High Priestess. Recent past is the Fool. Crowning you is the Nine of Wands in reverse. And okay, moving forward is the Seven of Swords. Some of you are exhausted. You are exhausted, Libra, in whatever it is that you are doing, my friends. But you either recently... You guys are ready to move forward. Some of you may have already done this. You're ready to go, whether it's ending a job, ending a relationship, a marriage, whatever it is, you're ending something and starting something new. I do feel like you're dealing with people that are acting in a way that's like conducive to your stability. Like you're taking that leap of faith without looking, but you don't really care. You know, because really with the Nine of Wands crowning you this, I feel like you are just this whole reading screams, I, I don't give a shit, is really what it, really. That is what the whole reading screams. You're like, tired of fighting. With someone. You're tired of fighting, tired of fighting for anything. You're like, screw it, I'm done. Literally. I mean, you're coming into the reading done. You're definitely ending something. That's definitely your energy. It could be, you know, some of you, you know, betrayal with this card. You could feel like things are going on behind your back. And I do think you're right with the Seven of Swords here. I do think people are being sneaky. Somebody could be betraying you. Or, or maybe you feel betrayed because someone has left you and you feel the need to betray 
them back or someone else. And there's a big lack of communication between these two cards with the, with the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Like there's just no communication. Nobody cares. And Ten is an ending. With the Seven of Swords, I just feel like you're on your way. You just don't care. The High Priestess is secrets. With the Seven of Swords, like, this is big-time secretive shit here, guys. I'm really sorry, Libra, but it really is. Whether you're doing it or someone else is. Like, this is... Sneaky and secretive. Like, big-time. The other thing I'm noticing, too, is that, you know, the Fool is all about taking a leap of faith. When I look at the High Priestess, I mean, she or, or he, guys, no gender, private readings that matter, but not with the High Priestess. I mean, this is neutral anyway, you know. I say she because it is a she on her. But she's ready to take a leap of faith too. And there's a lot of emotional stuff. There, there really is. There's a lot of emotional stuff with the water. Now, I almost feel like these two are going to work together. And you're almost there. So let's clarify, definitely. Let's go right to the Ten of Swords. Four of Swords, Temperance, and the Queen of Wands. Maybe it, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Aries does come through strongly. Definitely a need for balance, patience, understanding, moderation, cooperation. A desperate need for a break. But I just, you know, you feel, you may feel a little bit passionate about something. But with the Four of Swords being in the reverse, I just don't feel like, I just don't see it happening this week. And there really is a desperate need for a break. Because you're exhausted. This, The Ten of Swords... Some of you really may have quit your job because you needed that break and you just don't care anymore. There's just a lot of, I don't care anymore. Especially if, if, if you're an air sign that has fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sag, you, you really just don't care anymore. It, there's just that type of energy where you, you just don't care. Let's look at the Seven of, of Swords. Yeah. I swear I said this in another reading. I, 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 not the same cards, but I, I this definitely came up in another reading. Knight of Swords. 
in reverse and the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Again, definitely no one is talking or there is very, very nasty with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Very, very nasty, harsh, blunt, straightforward, nasty communication. And with the Seven of Swords being sneaky, I, I just don't feel like there is because no one is communicating. Or if there is, someone really probably does get away with it. That would be for a very small number of you. I mean, it is possible for some of you, definitely, that people are being sneaky around you. And then for others of you, maybe not. Because there's no communication here at all. And, and there's a lot of waiting for something to happen. And I feel like it doesn't, nothing happens so you move forward. You take that risk, that leap of faith to move forward. Let's definitely look at the high priestess, I'm thinking. All right, these three, I'm just going to take them all. What do we got? All right, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Strength card in the reverse, and the, it, it was in the upright, and the Magician. There could have been trickery, but again, you know, the Magician's upright, so the Magician's definitely ready to go. Just like, you know, you are here too. And you are here too. With the high priestess even too, you're, you're definitely starting over. You know, the strength card in the reverse, I feel like definitely, you know, you definitely feel tired, exhausted, like we said in the beginning, a little weak even about it, about doing all this. Some of you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Maybe a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Or this could definitely, you know, could be your energy. And some, some of you definitely could be quitting your job. I feel like the majority of you are really taking this risk, starting over, taking that leap of faith, starting your own business. Some of you are absolutely leaving a relationship. I mean, let's, let me clarify that really quick, really. Let's go to the Nine of Wands, because that's what you're thinking about, the Nine of Wands. Definitely this card wants to come. That's going on the Nine of Wands. Look at the size of that ace. I love this too. And the, I love the Ace of Pentacles in this deck because I feel like, you know, the universe is really giving you this new beginning. There's, you know, clarity, enlightenment, growth, stability, a new beginning Really, taking this risk of this this risk, this leap of faith, really is gonna bring in a lot of stability, a new job, starting your own business. Like you may be exhausted for the week, but and feel this way, but I think it's just for the week, really, Libra. 
comes. This is crowning you. So this is what you're thinking about. You're exhausted, but you're gonna, you're gonna keep going. You want this. You want this stability, security. You know. You want opposite of what you have right now, which is you know conducive of your stability. Getting to know each other, new beginnings, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. If you're meeting an earth sign, meeting someone new this week, and it's an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, they are very grounded, stable, solid, secure, and this person will be too. Very solid, stable. And probably a relationship that really would stand the test of time. A lot of abundance, success. Beautiful. Just keep going. Don't give up. Definitely take a break because you guys, some of you def desperately, desperately need a break. Take your break and get right back in the game. And this is what you get. Beautiful. All that abundant success, stability, amazing. All right, guys, if it didn't resonate, though, definitely look at your other signs. But I wish you guys all a wonderful, beautiful, blessed week. And I will see you guys back here very soon uh, with the morning cards, the rest of the weeklies. Till then, guys, I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.